can I get a grande iced brown sugar shaken espresso? Um, can I get pumpkin cold foam in that? That's all. Thank you. Hi guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. I'm in the drive-thru at Starbucks. I'm getting my first fall drink of the season. I haven't been to Starbucks yet. I haven't gotten any pumpkin drinks yet, mostly because it's a lot of sugar. I didn't really want to drink anything like that. But today, as you can tell by the title, we are fall decorating. So I wanted to get in the fall spirit. I'm also wearing all brown. Um, I showed you guys my outfit earlier, but I'm wearing these new brown pants that I got from Naked and I'm obsessed with them. So I just had to get in the full spirit. I also had to whip out my brown Stanley tumbler. So yes, today I am decorating for fall and I had to run out to get a couple more things. I needed more of these candles. I'm going to make a candle arrangement and I'll show you guys that later, but I needed to pick up a few more things from at home. So that's why I'm out right now. I'm going to just get my coffee go to at home and then go back to my home to decorate. It's August 30th, it's a little bit early, but the reason I wanted to decorate earlier is because once November rolls around, I'm gonna wanna start decorating for Christmas. So I wanted to appreciate and enjoy my fall decor before we change it in a couple months. Oh my gosh, there's these pompous grasses in the drive-thru. I wanna pick some because these are so cute. These would look so good in a vase at home. Let me show you guys. Do you guys see this? Look how perfect those are. They sell those for 20 bucks on Amazon. So yeah, I'm very excited. I'm not doing that much. I'm not gonna really go all out. The only holiday I go all out for with decorations is obviously Christmas. Um, but I'll just put a little small touches here and there in the apartment to warm it up and make it more cozy. But yeah, it'll be a really fun vlog and I'm excited to get everything done today. Hi. Um, no, that's okay. Thank you. Mm. Smell it. Oh, should have gotten a straw so I can mix it better. So I kept it pretty basic. I just got a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso, and I got pumpkin cold foam on top. So let's try it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm at, at home. I'm gonna do a haul when I get home. I did buy just a few new things. I have some things from last year as well, but I bought kind of a few things from collective places, Amazon, at home, I think Target, Michaels, I can't quite remember actually. So we'll just pop in really quick, just a quick trip. Okay, so I'm trying to find some stems to put on the living room coffee table and I can't decide between these three. I like this because it's kind of minimal and plain, but I kind of want to incorporate a little bit of color just because I think the white is too, too bland. I really like the design of this. It's also a really good price, $3.99. So this might be the winner, but then I also like this because I think this is more fall kind of looks like orange leaves. So I'm gonna ride around with these three and decide at the end. Hey guys, I'm back home. I spent way too much time in at home because I'm so indecisive and I was literally just about to check out. And then I just, in my mind thought, you know what, I want some new pillows for my couch. So I spent 20 minutes in the pillow section trying to figure out what pillows would look good with my couch and my decor and mix and matching. It did not need to be as hard as I made it, but I picked up some stuff that I'm really excited about. And a lot of the stuff I got is stuff I'm going to use all year long, not just for fall. So I thought it was worth buying. So let me show you what I got. I have it all laid out here because I filmed a little funny TikTok. So yeah, these are the pillows that I got. And I was thinking of getting those big pumpkin pillows. I don't know if you guys have seen them. They're going viral all over social media, but they're plushy, big pumpkin pillows. And I was so close to getting one, but it was $30 and it was so big. And I just thought to myself, this is not worth having on my couch for just two months. And then it's going to go into storage the rest of the year. So I'm very proud of myself for resisting that. But I did pick up these three pillows and I have been wanting to replace the throw pillows that... I currently have these came with the couch and they're okay but they're so tiny and they're actually really stiff they're not that comfortable i haven't gotten any new throw pillows ever since i got this couch back last october so we're gonna put those in storage and i'm gonna replace it with these three i got these two big 
kind of tan taupe colored ones and I thought it would go so well with the rest of the decor and I really do like how it looks on the white couch and they were each $15 so a really good price and they're also really soft so I know it's gonna be really comfortable laying with those and then I did get this one smaller one and I thought this would be so perfect for fall but also for Christmas time and all of winter um but all year round I'll keep this pillow and this one was this one was $20 okay I got this little I don't know what you call this it's not a plant I guess just these branches for the coffee table I love the neutral color of them so pretty i was so close oh man yeah so you guys saw that vlog segment how i was debating what plants to get and i literally picked 10 different plants i was going back and forth for so long in the plant aisle and i'm so happy i found this last minute i guess it pays to stay in the store for a long time because if i didn't then i wouldn't have found these but these are so perfect to fit the rest of my decor so i love them i love the color of them and the style and then i also picked up two of these pumpkins to put on the TV stand. I love this white one. I like how it looks kind of unique. It's not your basic shaped pumpkin. It looks very cute, it looks very uh, realistic. It looks like it costs more than it did. And then this one was 25. This one is a little wooden one. And I thought that the two of them next to each other would be a really pretty combination. I like the two different colors and textures and I like the mix of wood and I don't know what this even looks like. I guess kind of looks like ceramic, but this was $10. And then I also got this little box. This isn't really fall decor themed. I mean, it matches with everything, but this is something I'll use year round. This is a box. And the reason I got this is for my remote controls. And I know I bought one, I think from Home Goods a few weeks ago and it's such bad quality. The cloth has completely peeled off of it. It just looks so cheap and I'm so upset that I bought it and wasted my money. So I got this. This is a hard plastic uh, material. I love the design. I love the colors. I think it looks so luxurious. This is from their line Crosby Street. Uh, very, very beautiful line and $21. Okay, the last thing I got is this little black stand to put on the coffee table and I thought it would be perfect because it's circle just like my table I have so many boxy things on here so I kind of just want to have this one centerpiece that I can put coasters a candle and a little um, plant arrangement and then that's it I'll keep the rest of the table cleared and then this is the box I was talking about it's not really picking up well on camera but it just really lost its quality it's such bad quality so I'll keep this or maybe give this to someone but um, I'll probably keep this box that's the box that I'll keep the remotes in. I'll probably put it on this side table and I'll rearrange this so okay that's all that we got today from Trader uh, Trader Joe's at home then I also picked up these candles this is what i went to at home for this was not necessary but i did get the candles that i needed and then over here i have the rest of my decor some that i've had since last year and then some other stuff that i've been collectively buying so we have these kitchen towels these are from target i got these last year this says thankful and grateful and this one has pumpkins on it I think these were each $6 from the threshold line, so I'll link that in the description if it's still available. And then I'm gonna use this little bowl. I don't know if I'll actually put this out, but I've had this from Target, so we might do something with that. And then this tray I'm so excited about. I just got this from Amazon. I got this yesterday in the mail. It's such a beautiful color. I love the gold and it's metal. It's a really good quality tray and so this is what i'm gonna use with the candles so i have some more candles over here i'm gonna make a huge big candle arrangement and i'm actually gonna light them at night so we have a nice cozy vibe in the dining room i'm gonna put it on the dining table so we will do that with the candles and then i showed this in my previous weekend vlog but i have two new candles this is a capri blue candle this is the pumpkin pumpkin clove scent it smells just like a spiced pumpkin so good and then this candle is from world market and this is pumpkin vanilla smells like vanilla cookies and then this is from anthro this vase i've had for like five years got this from anthropology but i'm going to put that on the coffee table along with the 
plants that I just bought today. And then I have this pack of white mini pumpkins that I got from Amazon. And I plan on putting those in that bowl that's on the TV stand. And these I think were like $10 on Amazon. And then this is my wreath that I got from, I believe, Target last season. So I'm not sure if they still have it, but we will replace my current wreath on the door with this one. And then I showed this also in a previous vlog. These are some stems that I got from uh, World Market and I plan on using it with this face that I again have had for a few years, but I originally got from Target. So that's all we have right now. Um, yeah, so not a huge um, change we'll make, but I will decorate or update the TV stand, the coffee table. Uh, we're gonna work with the bar cabinet and I think that's it oh yeah and then the dining table and then I'm gonna keep this um, island countertop clear like nothing on it because I really don't like anything on it I don't like to put decor or anything I like to have it completely clear so that's what we're gonna do today so yeah let's just get into it had to set the mood with some fall ambiance on the TV it also is playing this really relaxing music which honestly I might fall asleep to, I hope not.
guys, finally done. Every time I do these seasonal decor videos, it always just exhausts me. It took maybe a few hours. Right now it's 6.30. Pretty much almost nighttime. Yeah, I spent the whole day decorating because I'm such a perfectionist and I took my time and I also was recording some TikToks as well, so I was multitasking. But yeah, I'm done and I wanted to show you guys the full apartment with everything set up. We're gonna do a little fall, I guess, apartment tour. Okay, first I wanted to show the apartment with the overlights off so you guys can see how cozy it is with all the lower lights. This is my favorite part of the decor update. I love this beautiful centerpiece of all these candles and I made sure that you know I got a tray that was good quality so that when the wax drips down it won't get on the table or anything I don't plan on keeping this lit all night because I get kind of scared lighting so many candles in the apartment so I'll probably blow those out soon but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when it's all lit we put the little towels Okay, now let's turn on the lights again. Okay, so I didn't do anything here in the hallway. I did hang up that wreath, you guys saw that, so that's really the only thing I did over here. And then all the decor updates are mainly in the main room area. The kitchen, I just put the new, or not the new, these are old, but I just put the fall towels, super cute. I was thinking of getting this little pumpkin spoon rest from at home. But I just thought it was going to be a waste because I would only use it for two months. So, yeah, I didn't really do anything with the kitchen. And then the dining table, kept it simple with those candles. And then again, like I said, I didn't do anything here. But I think what I might do is I might light the Capri Blue candle. I might put that over here because I don't want these branches to get burnt because it's kind of in the way. Yeah, so if I were to light that candle and leave it there... I don't know, I just don't want it to burn those candles. So might put that candle there just when I'm burning it. And then when I'm not burning it, I'll put it back here because I like how it looks here on the bar cabinet. So yeah, there's the bar cabinet. I love these little stems. I love the color of them. They're like a really, um, either a really dark burgundy or light reddish brown color. I absolutely love it. I've never had decor that color before, but it's so perfect for fall. And I think it looks really good with the vase. So yeah, that's all that I did over there. And the living room is where I made the most changes. I'm so obsessed with the couch. I'm really happy I found these pillows and added some more colors to the plain white couch because it was very plain looking before with just the white throw pillows. And these are so much more soft. And I feel like just add so much more to the couch. And then I added my cable knit Casa Luna blanket that actually used to be on my bed, but I think it looks so much cuter on the couch. So I brought it out here. It's a huge queen size blanket. So me and Anta will be able to use it while we sit here and watch movies. And I think it's so perfect for fall too. Anything that's cable knit, I think is very perfect for fall. So made the couch very cozy. And I love the little centerpiece for the living room coffee table and i'm just glad i found this little circle tray because i'm going to use this all year round you know during christmas i'll use it and non-holidays i'll use it and it creates more space on the coffee table before we really didn't have much space in the coffee table because i had the coffee table books the remote little box there really wasn't much room when we were having our drinks or eating our food or whatever so i'm glad there's more space on the coffee table and you guys this candle smells so good so i'll link it in my description i'll link everything in my description definitely go check it out but that candle smells amazing i've had it lit for the past couple hours and it's made the apartment smell so good and then over here i put that little remote box everything fit perfectly in there my coasters are there the diffuser with my essential oils are here and lastly the tv stand i put those two little pumpkins there i think they look very cute together and complement each other pretty well and the little pumpkins in this um bowl that i always have there so that's it and those candles were there before but i think those are also very appropriate for fall so yes that's it guys nothing crazy but definitely warmed up 
the apartment a lot more and I really love the color scheme that I chose this year. A lot of browns and beiges. In the past, I did a lot of whites. I still did a lot of whites this year, like <laughs> all the white pumpkins and stuff, but I'm glad I added more uh, warmer tones and warmer colors, and I'm just so obsessed with the couch. So I'm gonna lay here tonight on these cute little new pillows, and when I turn off all the lights, it's gonna be such a vibe, those candles. Let's do that now. Let's turn everything, everything off. Ooh, super cozy. It's still kind of bright out a little bit, so can't get the full effect, but the candles, let's just, Look at them again. Very, very pretty. So I was gonna make this just a fall decor vlog, but I wanted to keep vlogging. So I'm gonna make dinner and I'm going to be making one of my favorite dishes, a Salmon Bites bowl using the Trader Joe's salmon. And I season it different every time. I usually use sweet chili sauce, but I ran out. So I'm gonna just use some teriyaki sauce, hoisin sauce, some honey, and then season it with salt and pepper, garlic powder, and olive oil and then I'll also put a drizzle of lemon. I'm gonna put that on a bed of white rice with some cucumber and avocado. So I'm gonna cut them into bite-sized pieces and then season it and then I will cook it in the air fryer. Whoopsies. Okay, we have our salmon bowl with rice, avocado, cucumber. I put a ton of chili crunch on the top because I'm addicted to the stuff and it just makes everything taste so good. I made some spicy mayo on the side, which is just regular mayo or Japanese mayo if you have it. I don't have it. And sriracha, a little bit of honey and salt and pepper. So that is dinner. Usually I'll also have some shredded carrots with this and seaweed, but I don't have either, but that's okay. I'll just eat it like this. And that is my delicious dinner. Separating apparatus from Colonial. And, uh, you know, yesteryear. <laughs> you know what? I don't, I don't really think Phoebe wants to come. No, I do want to. Oh, no, she does want to. She does want to. Yeah. <laughs> so cold in the apartment so I'm wearing my barefoot dreams really cozy robe that I haven't worn since last winter so I'm really feeling all the vibes of cool weather even though it's 70 degrees outside but I always blast the AC when we're sleeping but anyway I wanted to make some small little changes to the decor I always do this I always lay in bed at the end of the night and I always think about my day and then I get ideas. I swear I get most of my creative ideas at nighttime when I'm laying in bed trying to go to sleep. That's probably why I'm an insomniac. So anyway, I had a couple ideas to change the decor a little bit. Okay, it's kind of messy because I was working a little bit when I woke up, but you guys remember this from yesterday, the little pot that is over there on the coffee table and these little stems. So I was thinking that it's a little bit kind of, it seems like it's a, a lot in this little vase. I kind of want it to be more spare. So what I want to do is take another vase that I have and divide this in half and put 
that vase over on these shelves in the kitchen because I didn't do anything to these shelves. I just didn't want to like waste too much money to buy new decor. But this little green plant, I think I'm going to take that out because it seems like a kind of summery plant. I think I'm going to take that out and put those branches there. So I need to go find a vase to put that in. So I ended up finding this old mason jar. I'm not sure why it's yellow. I think I used this for something. So then I put this into storage. So I'm gonna use this as the vase. I think it's super cute mason jar. I feel like it's very fallish and would be cute in the kitchen. Has all these, I think it's fruit on it. Yeah, it has fruit on it. So perfect for the kitchen. These branches are so messy. I have to do it over the sink because they shed like crazy. That there, okay, so that's kind of the look I like. I don't know if you guys can see, sorry if you can't see. But I like the look of it being a little bit more bare. So I think we might just keep it like that. Maybe we'll put one more. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm liking this. Because before it was kind of like standing straight up because there was so much in it. So I think we'll keep it like that. It would be so cute if I had a like piece of yarn here to tie. But I think this is good. Okay, so there's what that looks like. Um, it's all right. Adds a bit of fall to this little section. So... Yeah, I'm not really pressed over these shelves, so I think that's the only thing we'll do. And we'll put this back on the coffee table, and it looks it looks better. It was bothering me last night when I was laying on the couch. But yeah, here's what the apartment looks like during the day. I know last night I showed the decor when it was kind of dark out, but I am loving these pillows. They were so comfortable chilling on the couch last night with and the blanket I'm so happy I brought that out there because it's so comfortable and I actually never use that blanket in bed so now I'm definitely getting a lot more use out of it and the tv stand I love these little pumpkins and those little pumpkins just pumpkins everywhere so yeah guys that is the fall apartment decor another thing I just did right now that was kind of bothering me was I removed the runner the table runner because i didn't really like the color of it and how it didn't really match well with the tray so i removed that and i actually like it a lot better um just plain and simple like that so that's another very random small change that i made but i think it looks a lot better okay guys so i'm about to go work out i actually have my workout outfit on under here so i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i'll do my best to link all of the decor things that i showed in the vlog in my description most of the stuff i think will be available online but there will be some <clears throat> but there will be some that won't be available so i'll try my best to find replacements as well but I hope you guys got some ideas and inspo for how you can decorate this fall. And that's another reason why I did this video so early is so I can give you guys a chance to watch it, get ideas, to plan for your decor if you do decide to decorate for fall. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in my next vlog.